touchpad, which we just announced earlier. Uh, this is a this has a 9.7 inch diagonal display, um, 1024 by 768 resolution, um, and on the front we have Gorilla Glass, which protects it from breaks, and it's coated for easy cleaning and abrasion resistance. Under the hood, we've got a ton of power. It's got a dual core. Uh, uh, Snapdragon processor running at 1.2 gigahertz, has twice the memory as the Pre-2, and comes in uh, 16 and 32 gigabyte configurations. It's also packed with uh, with uh, sensors. We have the triple axis accelerometer, triple axis gyroscope, uh, uh, compass. Um, these have really cool uh, applications in video gaming, and we have a front-facing 1.3 megapixel. Oh, let me turn this mic. 1.3 megapixel. Uh, image sensor which can be used for video conferencing. Um, we also have the second generation touchdown technology which can be used for charging as well as some uh, seamless data communications experiences which I can try and show you later. Um, and we have uh, stereo speakers with Beats Audio so it gets a really great sound. Now when you turn it on the first thing you'll notice is what we call hard view. And uh, this is not just a really great way to get in and out of applications, it's my workspace. So I can easily see what it is I'm working on um, visually. I don't have a sea of icons. You know, when I turn it on, I'm instantly um, plugged into what I was doing. And this is really important because this is a product you're going to be turning on and turning off a lot. You're going to bring it with you around the house, around the office, on the go. So being able to turn it on and see what it is you're working on is a really powerful feature. Uh, another new thing, one of our trademark features is notifications and in, in, uh, uh, touchpad we enhanced the way they work. Um, let me show you how, how, this, uh, how this works here. I'll go into the web browser. And, um, so let's say I'm browsing the web and I get uh, a bunch of emails coming. I can see here in the notifications what emails I receive and I can swipe through them like this and do triage right here. So I don't have to leave the email, go to the web browser, decide what's an important email, what's not an important email. I can get to it right here. So that's really a powerful multitasking feature. Now going to our email application, um, we've made some, a number of changes uh, for the touchpad. Uh, to take advantage of the screen size and, and the power we have here. So uh, in this view, you can see I have an email zoomed all the way in. Um, so if I have a lot of text content or um, you know just something I want to focus on, I can do that. I can also drag out here a little bit and reveal and reveal the the, the inbox. So I can I can use this to more effectively you know switch emails. Now if I want, I can go all the way out here and see all of my uh, accounts at once. So I can, I can, if I have a lot of email and I have a lot of different accounts, I can move in and out um, really easily. So let me show you that again. I can go all the way in, focus on an email, or I can drag it all the way out and have access to both accounts, the inbox, and email. We've also added the ability to, um, to better manage your inbox. We let you select um, several emails, you hit the delete icon here, and keep your inbox clean. Is there any uh, video out uh, there's, there's no video out No video out um, So uh, now if I uh, hit the reply button here, you'll see um, that a reply email opens up in a new card. Well, I'll just move on. Um, so, uh, uh, next application I'd like to show you is the, the Photos application. So this is a connected photos experience. It, it's showing pictures not just that are on the touchpad, but also ones that are coming in through online accounts. And in this case, I'm logged into Facebook, so I can easily uh, tap on a picture here and, and, and scroll through. So these are these pictures are coming in through Facebook. Okay. Now because this is a, a connected experience for Facebook, I can see uh, comments and uh, I, we also have uh, printing capabilities. So I'll hit the printer button there, hit print, and uh, just like that, the printer's running. And actually my printer is from... Sorry guys, I'm just resetting the printer. Camera. 
It does not. It's a, just a French mm -hmm. So. Yeah, so we got our picture here. Now, of course, it supports both landscape and portrait mode. And uh, I'd like to show you real quick the Kindle application. Just quickly want to touch on this one. Um, so we have the Kindle application, which provides access to um, you know the, the the entire library of Amazon that they provide through the Kindle service. And I can um, just as you expect, open a book. Uh, flip through pages. Just that easy, and I can go into card view. This supports uh, whisper sync, so if you. Uh, it does show two pages at the same time, yes. I'm not showing that today, so. Um, let me also show you a, uh, a game. So, you know, we mentioned the processing power in this. Um, so we have this um, really cool uh, flying fighter game as a demonstration of that. So it's in the autopilot mode, take that off. Whoa. I'm not very good at this yet. But you can see the uh, see how good it looks. I'm just gonna fire it. Kind of like that I'm into the back into um, card view. You get rid of it like that. Now you might have noticed um, since I've been showing this to you that I got a bunch of text messages. This is another really cool feature we're showing today. Um, this does not have a phone in it, but it's connected um, with a phone I do have uh, in the station here. And so I can reply to text messages right from here. A good chance to talk about the keyboard. Um, you notice it's a five-row keyboard, so we have the numbers visible, um, and we have the symbols present. So it's much easier to type, um, uh, you know, dates and times and things like that, where you've got numbers in and characters. Not you don't have to switch back and forth a whole lot. If I press and hold here, I can change the keyboard size. So if I have smaller fingers and I'm, you know, I more prefer a small keyboard, I can do that. Um, or if I want to go big, maybe just because I want to type more, you know, I want to type like a long email or something like that, I can do that. Um, it's up to the user to decide um, which they prefer. By the way, this is how you close applications. Let me show you the, the web browser experience. So this is based on uh, the latest web kit. Um, we have hardware acceleration and uh, we support uh, a lot of HTML5 features and uh, also Flash. So you get the web the way you're expecting it. <laughs> um, and, uh, and that's pretty much what I have to show. So you can see, um, we saw the new email application and the, the, the notification system how it lets you power through email if it's in. Um, our connected photos experience, the web browser, um, the connected SMS experience that lets you send messages um, through your touchpad. And uh, that's it. I, I encourage you guys to go check out the uh, beer and the pre free, which you can find out. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just showing the touchpad here. <laughs>